Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sort by multiple fields in your Microsoft Access databases in the table, in a query, and directly in forms. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy off my website if you want, but what I'm going to show you works in pretty much any database. So the first sorting method I'm going to show you is to sort in your tables. Now, this is just for you, the developer, because we don't let our end users poke around in our tables, right? We hide this stuff. And if you want to find out how to hide this stuff, go watch my simple security video. There's a link. You'll find it on my website, on my YouTube channel. It's absolutely free. I'll put links to all the videos I'm going to show you down below. So to sort in your table by one field, that's pretty easy. You click on the field. You right click, you go to sort, A to Z, Z to A, right? There you go, that field is sorted. You can also use these little buttons up here. Now to sort on multiple fields, you just select them like this, right? Click on the header, select them like that, then hit the sort button. They'll be sorted left to right. So this will be sorted first name, then last name. If you want to go last name, first name, just reverse the order of the fields. Click on the column, let go of the mouse, click again and drag it to the left. Now these are left, last name, first name. So now select both of those and then sort. And now they're sorted last name, first name. Hard to see like this. Let me say we've got uh, James Kirk and let's add, uh, let's add an Anna Kirk down here. Okay, select both of these and then sort ascending. And there you go, Kirk, Anna, Kirk, James. Now, unfortunately, like in Excel, you can't, click and then control click to click multiple non-contiguous columns so you have to put the columns next to each other but that's okay you can rearrange these however you want you want to put the city up here sort by city and then last name sure all right city last name sort there you go okay but we don't want our end users poking around in our table so i'm going to close this save changes no let's make a query and do the same thing now the beauty of a query is that you can save the sort so if you have a complicated sort, you don't have to keep redoing the same work over and over again. And it's good for someone who doesn't know access. You can just make them a query, attach it to a button, boom, there they go. So let's do something similar. Let's go to create, query design. All right, I'll bring in my customer table. You can bring in multiple tables if you want to. I'm gonna bring in last name and then first name. Now in a query, the, the fields will be sorted left to right, just like in the table. And here we go. Here's the sort row. So you go sort ascending, sort ascending. There you go. It'll be sorted last name and then first name. Run it. And there it is. Okay. Want to do it the other way? Just move the columns around. Click on that. Let go of the mouse. So you got the arrow there. Click, drag it to the left. And now it'll be sorted first name, last name. Okay. Now, if you want all of the fields in here, bring down the star. So now you got all the fields in here. But watch what happens when you run this. Now you're getting duplicates. So you get this customer T dot first name nonsense and then field zero, field one. Okay, that's because you got two first names in here. So Access has to rename it. So all you do is just click this little show box right there. And that basically says, I want these columns in here. I want these fields in the query, but I don't need to see them twice. So when you run it now, it's just sorted based on what you want. Now you can save this query, control S, right? You can call this customer sorted LFQ, whatever you want to call it. Okay, customer sorted by last name, first name. And now you can use this query as the basis for other forms and reports if you want to, or you can make a button for it. Want to make a button so your average user can run that query? Okay, form design. Now I'll use the command button wizard because it's nice and easy. Come down to miscellaneous and then run query. Pick which query you want to run. Right? Put some text on there, right? Sorted customer list or whatever you want to call it. That's just the label. Next, give it a meaningful name, right? Customer sort button, for example, BTN. And there you go. There's your sorted customer list button. Now, normally I teach people how to do this with VBA, but for today, we'll keep it simple. All right, sorted customer list, there's your query. Now anybody can run that query. All right, just put it on your main menu. Now forms, on the other hand, if you go into a form, you can still use the same single field sorting technique that I showed you before. Click on the field, hit sort, the sort button up here, or you can right click in here and go sort, but you can only do it with one field at a time. So that's kind of limiting. 
There is this thing called the advanced filter and sort right here. I don't like it. I really don't like it. You might as well build a query. All right, so I almost never use this. In fact, I really don't even teach it in many of my normal classes. I teach it in my search seminar because that's all the advanced stuff about searching, but I don't like that. You're better off just building a query that you want to have the form based on. And then if you want to have, if you have a custom sort that you do all the time, like let's say last name and first name, okay, you can simply make this form based on that query that we just made and add that field on here. Watch this. So I'm going to go to form design. So the customer sorted LFQ has the data that I want sorted the way I want it, right? It's sorted by last name, first name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, design view. I'm going to add another field in here that I'm going to call LF. All right, so it's LF. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see this better. Shift F2, zoom in. All right, LF, it's going to be last name and a space or even a comma space. That's fine. And first name. That's called string concatenation. That's going to put those two fields together and make one out of it. Ready? Watch this. Run it. Scroll all the way to the end here. And now you've got a single field that's got the two things together that you want sorted. Now we'll sort on this. All right. So right click, design view. I'm going to just get rid of these, right? And then we'll sort based on this guy. And if you want, even bring it to the front of the list. Watch. All right. Save it and run it. And look at that. Okay, now we'll use this to fill in our form. If you want to learn more about string concatenation, by the way, go watch this video. Okay, so close this, come back to your form here, open up the form's properties, and change on the data tab here, change the record source to your query, customer sorted LFQ. Okay, save that, close this, close this, Open it back up again and look at now. We're sorted based on that field. All right, last name first. There's Anna Kirk and then James Kirk. And you can even add that field on here if you want to, right? We'll just put it over here on the end. Go to add existing fields. There's my LF right there, right? Click, drag, drop it right there. All right, I'll delete the label. We'll just slide this guy over here. And I like to make these gray to indicate that you can't change that because it's a calculated field. So the user can't modify that, but you can still use it for searches and sorts. Ready? Go. There it is right there. See? So now if you have your form with a different sort method, okay, if you come in here, let's say, and you want to sort it based on this field, right click, sort A to Z, and now you're sorting based on that field. So you could take all the things you like to sort by, make little fields from over here, and then you can right click on that field and sort based on that. Again, these are just shortcuts, little tricks and tips that I've developed, developed over the last 30 or so years I've been working with Access. Yeah, there's a lot more advanced methods, and I cover them in my various classes. Now, I cover a lot with sorting and searching in my Access Beginner Level 1 class. This class is absolutely free. It's about four hours long. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. Go watch this. I got two whole lessons on sorting and searching. In my Access Beginner Level 7 class, I cover a lot more with making a sorted list of customers. And I got a bunch of other videos on sorting, like my click to sort tech help video. This one's free. This is where I show you how to make labels over the columns in a form when you click on that label to sort on that field. That's pretty cool. I've got a search and sort template that also has that click to sort label, but it also has search boxes across top. So you can type in what you're searching for and it'll filter that list based on what you type in. So you can type in Kirk in here and it'll sort that list and search it for the word Kirk. And finally, I got my big search seminar. This is the granddaddy. It covers everything you ever wanted to know about searching and sorting and lots of different methods. And yeah, these things are called the search template and the search seminar because search is what most people search for. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> they search for search. You see what I did there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Search is more popular of a search than sort. So. I figured today's video is on sorting, but I cover sorting in my search seminar and my search template and all my search stuff. Searching and sorting kind of go hand in hand. So, And I'm going to throw one more little thing in here just because I like to award the people that wait till the end of the video and don't just leave when I start doing a little advertising. Got to watch the advertising. This is like the post credit roll something something when you go watch like a Marvel movie or a DC movie and they do something after the credits. Okay, so you made this little thingy in here, right? We could put that in our continuous form too. I got a customer list form right here. Right, right click, design view. We're going to change this guy's properties instead of customer T. We're going to go to that customer sorted LFQ. 
And I'm just going to borrow you, right? Copy. Come over here. Get rid of these two. Right? And then paste it in here. Boop. Okay, like this. And like that. And do a little bit of this. And slide you guys over. Now, I believe that this guy, I've got it so you can't edit the data in here anyways. Let's, let's check it out. Open this up. And okay, well, this one is set yes, but you can say allow additions, no, allow deletions, no, allow edits, no, and that way the users can't mess with stuff on this form. They have to go to this form to do their stuff. So I'm just going to use the Format Painter. Where are you? Format Painter. We'll do that, and we'll copy one of these labels, slide you over here, and say Customer, right? And do a little bit of this. Ready? Save. Close. Close that. Save changes, no. And then open it up and look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's that field we just made and I just dropped it into a different form. Uh-huh. You likey? You likey? You like it? Come on, you gotta like. You gotta like. <laughs> so there you go. There's your Fast Tips video for today. I hope you learned something. Come check out my website. Come sign up for my free Access Beginner Level 1 class. It's free. It's like cheesy bread. It's free. Hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout-out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.